Hey, what's going on internet? It's Milkstars here and today I'm going to be teaching you five tips on how you can become a front-end developer. To give you a little background, I'm currently a full-stack developer at AT&T and I have huge passions for UI UX and mobile development. I've also been freelancing for about four years and I figured it was about time that I started sharing some of my knowledge with the internet. So as the Black Eyed Peas would say, Let's get it started. Tip number one! Be pragmatic, not unrealistic. C cut, cut, cut the music for a second. Internet, listen to me for a sec. We're starting to live in the world where everybody and their mom can code, alright? There's people learning from a whole bunch of different places like coding websites, boot camps and stuff, which by the way is awesome. But with that, tons of people are going to create competition for higher status jobs, working at the top companies like Facebook, Uber, Google, Amazon, etc. You need to start coding with efficiency. It shouldn't take you six seconds to load a 20 kilobyte low quality meme that you ripped off the internet. <laughs> okay, which I have seen before. As Vince Lombardi once said, practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice is what makes perfect. You're so wise. You're like a miniature Buddha covered in hair. So go ahead. Start looking up the efficient ways to start doing some of the things that you already do. Ways to make your code less redundant. <coughs> Object-oriented programming. <coughs> MVC paradigm. <coughs> God and easier to read for your colleagues tip number two do not and I repeat do not blindly follow the media you won't believe the amount of people that I've met at networking events that came up to me and started a conversation like hey Malik I just spent 30 hours playing with this insert framework or popular language here and I just made this cool web app with it you want to check it out oh for sure man what does the framework do exactly um, well, uh, this guy on Medium said it. Stop, stop it, stop it. Please, please, stop, stop. You need to understand the stack that your company is working with or the company that you're applying for is working with. I hate to sound like every guy who preaches about web dev, but you really do need a strong foundation in the holy trifecta of the web universe. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You should be able to respond competently when I ask you what a callback and what a closure is. You should understand the fact that everything in JavaScript is an object. Everything. Understand the stack you're working with and you're going to be better off than that guy that's learning that sub sub module of shmudamuda.js that replaces links with marquees to optimize the, the, the. You see what I'm saying? Tip number three, UI and UX are king. Just so you know, the top companies that are making the most revenue in the world right now are companies that are customer or user base driven. I recently watched a video where they said that the average user base age of most corporate companies isn't that 20 to 28 year old early adopter group that everybody talks about. It's people like your 60-year-old Uncle Jim who just found out that touchscreen devices are popular things. If your users can't intuitively navigate your app, your app is not going to establish a big user base. That's just the way it is. I could go on and on about how the little things matter the most when you're creating a flow for user experience, but the one important rule that I always tell people is KISS. Keep it sleek, but simple. Follow that rule and put in a lot of time and hard work, you'll become a master front-end developer in no time. Tip number four. Understand how the big picture works together. Now, I'm not saying that you have to learn every single data structure and every single algorithm to most efficiently search through a data set here. 
All I'm saying is that you should have a solid understanding of how each part of the web paradigm works. Whether it's the front end or the back end, server side, whatever. It'll make it a million times easier when you talk to some of the members on your team about what they're doing. And hey, maybe they'll ask you a question and you actually know the answer to it and you'll be able to help them out. Now that's how you become a senior software engineer. You gotta be there for other people. That's how you work your way up the ladder. Tip number five, have patience. Nobody said that the job search was gonna be easy. And it definitely isn't. Especially in the tech industry, it can be extremely painful. It sometimes feels like you're just throwing your resume into a black hole where you'll never ever hear about it again or hear from those people ever again. If Rome wasn't built in a day, why would you expect your career to be built in a day? As my mom always says, if you haven't found a job yet, it's just fate's way of setting you up to be at the opportunity you're supposed to have. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my 5 tips on how you can be a better front end developer. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button below. It helps me more than you think and it gives me the encouragement to make more videos like this. And if you're into everything that's tech, whether that's developer tips, dev podcasts, tutorials on how to make some web applications, or even gaming, go over here and subscribe to my channel for more content like that. Until next time, like always, I'll see you later, internet. Peace.